The timeline is a great feature that has been added to Microsoft Project to allow you to customize how you view and which tasks you view in that chronological process. It's a bit personally like a customized Gantt chart, but it's a flat line. And you'll see what I mean when I say flat line as opposed to the Gantt chart, which goes top left to bottom right. Now to activate the timeline so that you can actually see it, you simply go to view on your ribbon and put a tick against timeline and hey presto, the timeline appears. Now you can see today gets marked on the timeline so you can see where today is in relation to your project. And then using the default zoom, obviously, we see a week break at a time. Now by default on your timeline, there are no tasks. It's just the time for your project. And then you choose which tasks you would like to see on your timeline. So in order to add tasks into your timeline, we can do this in a couple of ways. We either go to click in the timeline section so that you can see up here, the context sensitive ribbon changes to timeline tools. And that's important because when you're in the Gantt chart, it actually says Gantt chart tools. So you need to make sure that you actually click in this thin section for the timeline, which actually doesn't have to be a thin section. You can change the height of it at any stage. But looking at the timeline tools format ribbon, if we then want to add in some of our tasks to be displayed on that timeline, we click this big button, existing tasks, and then choose the ones we'd like to see. So in fact, to start us, I'd just like to see the summary tasks. So each of the four summaries, launch night, furniture, prep room, and empty room. Okay. And you see it puts faint blue lines, but without any labels, you don't know which line is which task. So we need to make sure that we activate detailed timeline. And that puts in your task names. And now we can see that that's much easier to follow. That's how long emptying the room is going to take, then prep the room. Then there's a bit of a gap before we hit the furniture section. And then the last little group is so narrow at the current zoom that it doesn't get displayed on its own because it's actually less than a day. Now we can add in other tasks to our timeline by simply going back to existing tasks and choose the ones you would like. So I'm going to take off prep room and furniture and put in empty room, measure room, take down the curtains. Okay. You can see these tasks then get added in, one of which is a milestone. Alternatively, you can select the task you would like to go in, right click, add to timeline and that adds that task up into the timeline. Removing a task from the timeline in that case will be just right click and you can see add to timeline. The icon is kind of highlighted. You just choose it again and it then gets removed. So you can do it on the right click. You can choose the existing tasks dialog box and just remove the ticks of the ones you don't wish to see. And then you'll see the others that you've left ticks against. So that's the basics of the timeline. It's activated from the view menu and you can either turn it off or on as you see fit. Once you're in the timeline, you can then add or take away existing tasks from that timeline. So you're hand picking the ones you would like to see displayed.